right. <clears throat> the ranch is uh, back at you again with another video. And this is just going to be a state of the channel for uh, 2024, pretty much, and what projects I have planned and uh, uh, what we have in store for the new year, uh, of course goes without saying. However, uh, basically, uh, ignore the primary arm Cyclops. It's being tested. Uh, I have it on the Vepper because it's the uh, hardest recoiling semi-auto rifle own, and I hear they're hard on optics. And so far, it's holding up. I've only put probably 50 rounds through it with the Vepper on it, but it's held up. Uh, I've tested it on a bunch of other smaller guns and they, it held fine. I just wanted to see how it would do with 308, uh, full power rounds. Uh, but back to what I was getting at. Yeah, we have a lot of, of stuff planned for this upcoming year. Uh, we are going to be doing some stuff with the Vepper. That's why I have it out. This is going to be turned into the ultimate Cope Dragonov. Uh, I thought about turning it into just a RPK. Uh, it shot some decent groups with, uh, M80 ball. So I think if I exercise a little bit, it'll be even better. It'll be about an inch and a half, maybe a two minute rifle, which is fine. That's perfect for a DMR. And then I got a bunch of the C spec 20 and 25 round magazines, which are great. Uh, but yeah, uh, so I'm about to go take this back out and we're going to shoot it some more. Uh, cut. All right, we're back at it. Sorry about the cut. Uh, we have a lot of plans coming up uh, with the Vepper. We're going to accuracize it, turn it into a shitty Dragonov clone, or as much as possible. Uh, then with the AUG, of course, we're going to be putting more rounds through it to see how it's holding up. So far, it's great. It's around 1500 now. Uh, no, no issues at all. Uh, no malfunctions aside from it not locking open on the very first magazine with week 223 PMC. Uh, otherwise, it's been 100% flawless. Uh, no no issues in the rain, in the snow, and in uh, sleet. All was fine. Uh, but yeah. So we will be doing some more AUG stuff. I have a lot of, of other stuff. We're going to get into some, some fitness stuff, maybe, uh, perhaps, and I'll share you guys a secret on how I've dropped about 60 pounds by doing absolutely nothing for like, now it took about like six months to do it, but still do, I did not change anything, but of my habits, except for like one thing or two things. And I, I dropped that much weight. Uh, another thing is too, we're going to be talking about, uh, we're going to be getting some more cattle this year. I got some limousine cows, uh, calves that I bought we're going to be looking at them. Uh, I might throw up a picture of one of them if I'm feeling generous. Uh, we'll see. My newest bull calf. We got, he's blonde. He's gorgeous. Gorgeous calf. Uh, we're going to be possibly getting some Nigerian dwarf goats. Uh, I want a small mammal that produces milk because I like to eat cheese a lot. And if, uh, you know, the end of the world happens, I want to be able to have cheese. Um, uh, Sides from the cows. I guess I could milk the cows. All my cows are meat breeds, though. But I guess you could technically milk them. Uh, but yeah, we'll be doing more of that. Of course, the chicken. Uh, the chickens are getting expanded. We're getting a new building for them. Complete building. House. So, no more of little tent shacks. Those will just be used for breeding pairs now of chickens. Uh, and we'll have a big 60 capacity hen house, essentially, in a little section for the roosters to be separated off in. And uh, everything else. Uh, we'll be looking at some handguns. I want to do a bunch of Glock stuff this year because I got a bunch of Glocks now. Uh, you won't see them in the videos yet because one of them's off getting a, a side, basically getting the slide milled for an optic because it's a Gen 3 uh, Glock 17. But I got some interesting stuff with that. Uh, I want to look into like uh, the aftermarket because it's so ridiculous and mess around and see if I can optimize a Glock 17. 
Uh, I'm going to get one of these police trade-in Glock 22s and because I have a shitload of old 40 ammo I basically inherited uh, and have no gun for it. So uh, we'll do shooting with that and we'll see just how awful of a cartridge 40 Smith & Wesson is. Won't that be fun? Uh, that's planned. Uh, we're going to do probably more HK stuff. Uh, I want to get a USP this year at some point. The finance has come out right. And we'll do a whole review on that. Uh, I got more coming out on the uh, 45C. I put about 400 rounds through it now. So I can give you guys a pretty honest opinion on it. But back to it. Uh, it should be a good year. Hopefully uh, it's better than 2023. 2023 was all right. Uh, I didn't get as much done as I wanted to, obviously. Uh, I had a lot of stuff happen. I, you know, graduated uh, college. A uh, bunch of other stuff came up. Trying to integrate into a new job. Trying to find better work. You know, it's it's a mess. Everything's a mess in the country right now. Uh, but yeah, so far also an update on the uh, uh, Underworld Arms rail. It's held up fine. Uh, I put about 500 rounds. Or probably 400 actually. Closer to four. Uh, various crap 223 slash 556 I had in bags just sitting around loose rounds uh, it hasn't loosened on me everything stayed locked up uh, I still haven't actually shot it for accuracy with this rail mounted so I don't know if it's changed anything I was blasting paper targets standing up at about 50 yards and it was as easy to do with it now as it was before the rail so I'm guessing nothing's changed the point of impact Maybe shifted a little bit, but it wasn't enough to really notice. So, I mean, it was still on, like, within the, definitely within a pie plate of where it was before, or, like, way shorter than that at 50. Might have, like, moved an inch or something. Uh, maybe. I don't really know. But I just trying to give you guys a, a, a fair review on it. Uh, but I like it so far. It's staying on the gun. Um, I got a new sling ordered. I'm tired of the Magpul MS3. It gets in the way. It's too too bulky of a sling. It's probably going to go on one of my ARs. Uh, just because. Or it might go on my one of my Zenitco AKs. Uh, just because that thing is just... It does not mash well with the AUG. It just bangs into everything. Because of the big ass clasp and buckles. Uh, the AUG really needs something that's lower profile. You know, the gun's low profile. So, I'm trying to find a good sling. If you guys have any sling suggestions, you know, leave them in the comments uh, for the AUG. But, yeah. Uh, killed a deer with it this year. Killed several hogs with it this year, and it worked great. Uh, Winchester 64 grain, 223. Uh, Whitetail out of a 16-inch barrel did fine on all of them. That's my preferred hunting round and home defense round for 223 guns in general. It's a mean round, and it seems to do well in almost all twists. Well, I've shot it in one in nines and one in sevens, and it did well in all all four guns that had different twists. And lengths of barrel, so it's a good round. Uh, just expensive, but, I mean, that's hunting ammo for you. Uh, but, yeah, uh, so we'll have more more stuff coming on the way. We'll have more Millsurp. Uh, I got... French CEC, a full set of that. I got the uh, the combat belt in the uh, suspenders. We'll be looking at that. We'll be looking maybe at some more gas masks, depending on if anything interesting gets imported or not. Uh, if it doesn't, like last year, it is just the Romanian M74s got brought in. And those are a cool mask, although a lot of them were in kind of shitty shape because they weren't stored the best, but they were like 20 bucks. So you get a working one. That's a great deal. Uh, we might look at one of those. I do have one. Uh, but that's about the only new gas max that's been imported, that's been reasonable. I've seen some Italian, I uh, forget the model, and I've seen some of the Belgian, like, BEMs, I believe, the ones that have the, uh, the ones that have the uh, inlet valve that can rotate uh, with the filter, and you can move the filter in different positions. Uh, those have been on the market, I might get one of those. They're kind of expensive, though. I think it's a BEM4. I'm not sure, i have to look up the model number. I want to get a Polish... Uh, mp5 mask uh but uh, the problem is there's so many french ones being sold off as polish and the french ones are really a horrible gas mask so uh, i have two of them that are broke uh sitting in the corner over there 
because there's literally nothing valuable on them. They're made out of cell phone plastic and they just crack up over the years. Uh, versus the Polish ones made by mask pole that were actually made well uh, out of different rubber. And the design is solid. The French design is solid. It's just uh, the materials they chose were not up to par for lasting 40 years. But, I mean, the masks are almost 40 years old. A lot of them, 30. So, of course, you're going to see some wear. But, yeah, that's the, the plan for this year. Uh, I should have some the fitness thing coming up, and I should have the... Uh, the uh, Tell Ammo shit fest uh, with the uh, Az Azeri ammo that's rusting everyone's gun up and is a buck around. We're going to take a big shit on it. Uh, that's coming up. You guys might see that video before this one, actually. Uh, and yeah, we, we got fishing stuff come up. Uh, we're about to go white bass fishing. I've thought about bringing the uh, phone, uh, basically stand along so I can record some white bass fishing. We might do that. Don't know. Depends on how... The weather turns out because it's really cold and shitty right now. <clears throat> I don't want to go out on a boat. But when it gets warmer, we'll see. That's a, a possibility this year. For sure during the summer, we're going to get some fishing stuff done. Uh, but yeah, uh, come check out me and the, the other guys that do uh, streams over on uh, yacklebees.com or uh, uh, I think we're just going by the Skinwalker gang now. I'm not sure. Uh Fuck if I know. Just check out uh, the channels I got linked. Go and, you know, donate to the guys or me. Don't matter. Basically, you donate to my donate to my friends, you're donating to me. So, it works out either way. Um, but, yeah. Uh, so, I guess just keep on going. Uh, and we all got to make it through this shit-ass year. Because, uh, you know... It can only go up from here. That's how we got to have that attitude. We got to have an attitude that things can only get better because they're so bad. And that's the best attitude to have during uh, shit times. But yeah. Uh, hopefully we'll have more stuff out this year uh, than we did last uh, and grow the channel a little bit more. I just do this for fun and to kind of advertise for our other channels. But it's it's a it's a hobby of mine, and I treat YouTube much like a hobby. That's why I don't care about monetization, really. If you guys want to give me money, that's fine. But I'm not about to like cut myself over to YouTube and censor myself. But uh, that's how it be. Uh, I've stammered on long enough. Uh, watch my other videos. Watch my friend stuff. Uh, see you on the next video.